Yeshiva world. I'd like to talk about another big Indian, and that is the Indian of Zilzul Kedushas Beis Akneses and the Zilzul of Tvila, not having proper COVID for davening and not having proper COVID for Beis Akneses. It's your dua that Nishnas Tach Vitat. When Yidin had Shrekel Chegzeris cautious, Azeful Toys and Ter Toys and Ter Yidin were killed out. The Toysis Yontif made a Shailas Chaloin, and he wanted to know what's the Shairish of Gzeris Tach Vitat. And they answered him in Ashamayim, it's only because people talk in Beit Knesses when, when the Tzibur is davening. And the Shairish of all those Saurus came about because people da- talked in davening. There's a Maise with the Debrutziner that sells the Maise. He himself was present by the, th- by the Second World War, Rachman al by the Shoya, by the Khorban of Gansa Europe, the Shrekelche Holocaust. He was standing at a, a place, the last transport, he said, to go into Auschwitz. Und dort nie gestanden, Toysen ter Toysen ter Jeden. Plutzen, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, a lady appeared. And this lady started screaming with Koile, Koilis. And she said in Yiddish, Jeden, Jeden, zu den Weister, favos leiter, as Eiffel Zoris. Jews, Jews, do you know why you're suffering so much? As they, this is what the lady is telling to these thousands of people. And she says, because you speak in the shuls. Bandavanen, this was crossing Chorben Eirupe. Meves and the Svardim say, Alam Zogin, they were free because they were Ogihit and Knushas Beisaknesis not to speak. The Debrechtsiner says, Aedis. That after she finished saying this, she disappeared in thin air. It was not, it was a shliach min hashemayim that came down and told them, Klor, what is the shayrish why the ganze Chorben came because Rachman al-Islam, there was a zilzal in Kedushas Beisakneses in Kovid Ashkina. Rev. Gizokt, if you want to know why we have such a spastus of the Shrekel Chemachle, he says the reason is because people are mizalzal in Kedushas Beisakneses, and people talk in davening, they think what's so gefelach, talking in davening or talking by Kriya Satoire. If they would stop davening, what the Rav Osner said, the Machle would stop in Gansen just like it came, all of a sudden, it would leave us if we would be, have the proper COVID for davening. Barak 25 years ago, somebody came to Rav Avigdor Miller, Zatzal, and he told him that his son, the doctors found the machle, the shrek lechemachle in his son, and he needs an eitz and a brocha, what should he do? They didn't have medicines or surgeries for it. And he's asking Rabbi Vigdor, what do you tell me, what should I do? And Rabbi Vigdor told him, you know why it's coming, your machle and your child? Because you daven in a shul that they're not makbi to speak, bishas davening in Kriya Satoira. And my answer to you is, go to another shul that doesn't talk in davening. And they're not mezalzal in Kedushas Beisaknesis and Tvile. And then you'll get a refuah for your child. And he that says that within a, he went to another shul where they didn't speak in davening. After a few weeks, they came back to the doctor to make a new checkup on the child. And the doctor was an ois for the kalim. And he says the new pictures show that the machle totally disappeared. And he's healthy. And this child became a Baal Mishpoche, and he has a very large Mishpoche today, all because he left the Svivas of Yenna Beisaknesses. I want to share with you a Meiradika story when I saw it. This story took place two years ago in Tovshin Ayin Aleph. 
in Chodesh Elul. And this is told over from the parent of the child. Somebody had a child, 17 years old, a daughter. And she wasn't feeling well. They went from one doctor to another doctor. And then finally they made certain tests. And they found out that Rahman al and her liver were three places which were infected from the Machla Nirah in her liver. And the doctor said, it looks like it's a hopeless case. It's so, and it's such a dangerous spot. And we have to try and do surgery, but I can't guarantee you anything. It's a terrible, difficult surgery, and I don't know what to tell you. He became in panic. It happens that this year, when he walked out from the doctor, he bumped into a chavavis from Eretz Yisrael that happened to be in the waiting room there. And he tells him over the story. And the Chavar Vesumer Chisrael tells him a Maisa that happened with him. And he says, I was davening in the base Medrash and it was two weeks before the Hassan of my daughter. And all of a sudden I fainted in the middle of Shul. And Hatzola came to revive me and they couldn't do anything to revive me. And for about a few minutes, I stopped breathing. And they gave up. Chavi Atzola gave up. And he says over, there was one individual in the Chavi Atzola, which was a very close friend of his. And he couldn't see what happened to his Chavar. He made an announcement in Shul. And he says, I would like you all to undertake a Kabbalah. That from now on, you're not going to talk anymore in davening. And this might be a schus for a my chaver to come back to life. And he says, what happened was everybody Taka undertook, they're not going to speak anymore Bishas Hatvila. And then the Anshi Hatzol, they tried again. And all of a sudden they found the pulse and they saw there's a little hope here. They took him with an ambulance, but again he lost the pulse. And then this, they took him into the hospital and they were working on him. And then they gave up entirely. They put a white sheet over him. They said, it's all over with. This haver of mine, he says, couldn't see it. And he said to them, do again. Maybe the schus of the tvilas, the kabolas that everybody undertook will help. And there was a doctor there, and he said, it's worthless, because if he'll get back to life, he'll be a vegetable. And lo and behold, they worked afterwards, his chavr worked on him, and he brought him back to life, and two weeks later he said, I was dancing by the chasana of my daughter. And he said over the mice, and he says, when I was, when I fainted, I had you see us in the shomer. And I came up to Best in Shomala, and they told me, you never davened in your life. They were tevayah me that you never davened. And not only you didn't daven, they told him. No, the whole shul which you davened with didn't daven. And they told him, you were neurogal to talk in davening. And it'd be about you talked in davening. You were going him that the whole shul's tevayahs were not Nisala to the Ebershter. So the Ebershter said he's going to take you away from this world. But then, I, when I saw what happened, I made a haftoche. When I was up in Bez and Shomal, and I told the Reboi Nishaloyla, give me another chance. And if I'll come back here, I promise I'll never speak again in davening. And I'll see to be more other people, they should also not speak in davening. And then this Chavar from Eretz Yisrael tells his Chavar from America. And he says, your daughter is a terrible predicament. Take upon yourself a Kabbalah, not to speak. And see, others shouldn't speak in davening. And I guarantee you, you're going to be Zoycha Tanisim and Ifloyas. The person is made, it was so difficult for him. He was so used to speaking and davening. And then how is he going to go over to other people among them to daven without speaking and davening and without speaking in Kriya Satoya? But he did it. He had no choice. And then he says he came for the surgery. 
and he's standing in the waiting room and all of a sudden he hears the doctor talking to the nurses, there's nothing to do. And he got so broken, he thought, who knows what? And then the doctor comes and tells him, I didn't mean anything bad. No, I looked at the new films and the machle has left her. She doesn't have the machle anymore. A miracle happened. No more machle. What happened? How did this happen? And he explained to him, we made kabbalas. We're not going to speak in davening. And we're going to be mechabed the kedusha of Beisakneses. Then we're going to, we have this Yedvalti to Yeshua. When you speak in the Beisakneses, Bishas Atvila, it's so chomur. The gzeref tach vitat. The chorp in 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 Tzveita Veltz Melchomer. All the machlas are coming from speaking in the Beis HaKnesses because the Hashroya Sashkina today is only in the Beis Knesses and the Beis HaMedrash. That's where the Reboi Hashom Gifinsach, since the Chorben Abayis, the Mokim of Hashroya Sashkina is in our shuls, in our Boti Medrash. And if Cholila were Mizarzel, the Kedushas Beis HaKnesses, if we're mezazel in the covenant of the Reboi Shalom, by speaking when we're talking to the Reboi Shalom, when we're davening with the Reboi Shalom, we are merachik the shchina. And Rachman al-Itzlan, when we divide to the Ebersh there, we lose our shmira. There's a goyin in Shir Hashirim. The goyin says, we know the Beis Hamikdash is called Sukkah. Why is the Beis Hamikdash called the Sukkah? Because the Beis Amigdash was the Shoimer and Klau Yisrael. The Mokim Amigdash was the ord that, that came out, the Hashpoya Sashkina, into Klau Yisrael. And this was the Shmir and the Agone. And then the Goyen says, Lacher Achor Ben Shonu Begolus. Klau Yisrael asked the Reboyashim, how are we going to exist in Golis without a Beis Amigdash that's going to guard us and is going to be Shoimer us? Without the Shechina. And the Rebbein Hashem answers to Klau Yisrael. The Bote Knesias of Chutz Loritz. The Bote Medrashim. This is the Hagona and Klau Yisrael. From all the Mazolis and all the Zachem that Tzuch to be Machriv Klau Yisrael. If we Cholila B'yodayim are Mezalzo in the Kedushas Beis HaKnesus and Beis HaMedrash. We chase away the Shechina, we chase away our Shmira. The Gemara tells us in Yume, Kol ma'ashe nivre ba'oylam bishvil ha'kodesh boruch hu nivre u'lekvoi doi nivre. Whatever Hashem is boruch created in this world as one tachlis, it's to be mar b'kvoi shamayim, like the Pesach says, kol ha'nikra bishmi lekvoi di b'rosiv. The morale in Guriyah in the beginning of Reish, she says, what that means is, our avoidus Hashem, through Torah and Tvile, that's how we bring forth the COVID Hashem. This is the Tachlis Habriya, to bring forth the COVID. Avoid the Zu Torah, avoid the Zu Tvile. To davening, that's how we serve the Eberstim. What's greater, COVID can sign if we show that we're Avdei Hashem Yisborach. Our lives are dedicated totally to the Eberstim, to serve the Eberstim. If that's where the COVID of the Eberstim comes from, if we're Chalila Mizalzal in our Tvilas, in our Avdis, in our COVID Hashem Yisborach, Rachmon al-Itzlan, Peronius. The Meral writes in Ovis, on the Mishnah, the Oilam is Oimed al-Toyre v'al-Avoide. The Meral says, Kevin shloi nivre kol o'ilom is al-Nekvoidoi. If we, Zok the Meral, are not Oivid to the Eberster properly, in our avoidus Hashem, there's chisroinus and there's gomim, and we don't bring the proper COVID to the Eberster with our tefillahs, Zok the Meral, HaReza Mechayev Churben, V'avadin Min O'ilom. Because the whole tachlis of the Bria was to bring forth Kvoyit Shomayim. 
And if we don't bring back Kvoid Shemayim in our Tvilas, in our Avoidas, Rachmona Litzlan, that's a Shoyrish of why the Eberster brings Puronius. I want to share with you a Nifodike Cholom. There's a Yid at Tzadik, a Yishalayim or Yid, that lives now in America. I don't know what the Shoyrish, why he's here. I'm not even sure if he's here anymore. But this Maisa happened in Tov Shin Ayin Gimel. Leil Shabbos Kodesh Parshas Hazinu. A lead Yerushalayim was living in New York. One Friday night, he had a, a cholom. What did he dream in his cholom? He dreamt as a, that the tzaddikim that were nifter came before the reborn Yerushalayim law. And he said, how long are we going to have to machduch as a bitter egolis? And this, the Mekatrik said, we're not raw that Kalal Yisrael should go out of Golis. And the Tzaddikim talked back and said, yes, we are raw to go out of Golis. There's so much time in Kalal Yisrael. There's so much chesed in Kalal Yisrael. There's so much stalking in Kalal Yisrael. So they started fighting with the Mekatrik and the Tzaddikim were, were mainly Tzoyshir on the veldt. And even the mixes chatoim that we do, that's only because of the goalists from the goyim around us, the asovs that are around us, the pressures. So we're rolling the gula. And the mechatrix says we're not accepting that. And then all of a sudden the Eberster Alain came. And the Eberster says, well, what's going to be with the zilzul in my covid the Eberster said, Yidna Mizalzel Bekvoidi. And then one of the Tzaddikim asked the Reboi Nishloilom, What type of Zilzel are we talking about? And all of a sudden he says in his Cholom, he saw in big golden Oiseus that lit up these Oiseus and he saw two words. He saw Birchas, Beis Reish, Chof Tof. And then he saw, hey, yud, yud, dalit. And we saw this lit up in the cholam. He asked, what is the meaning of these words? And they answered him in the cholam, your father will explain it to you. The father of this person that had this cholam, his father, he said, had died already 40 years ago. And he couldn't understand, what does it mean? My father will explain it to me. All of a sudden, his father appears to him in the cholim, and he says, why don't you understand what it means? And he told him, this means Mesech de Brochus. And when it says, hey, yud, yud, dalit, it means daf, hey, daf, yud, and daf, yud, dalit. Three dafim in Brochus. His father told him, this is the zilzul bekvoidi that the Reboi Neshom is talking about. And he started learning through the dafim of daf, hey, and Daf Yud and Daf Yud Dalit. And then he found that all three Dafim have one thing in common. They're all talking about Tvila. They're all talking how a person could be Mizalzal in Kvoid Hashrina, in Kvoid of the Eberster, when you come to Davin. The Gemur in Dafe says that when a person Davins, he shouldn't see to do anything before Davening. No, immediately when he gets up, he should make sure to run to Davin. He shouldn't have other Isokim. The Gemara says a person shouldn't eat before Davening because the Pasuk says, Lachashin is goya zekibul olav malchu shemayim. Then there's the Gemara that says you shouldn't go and you see and greet a friend of yours and give him sholem before Davening. And the Gemara says, the Reboi Nashum says, why are you busy with Kvoid Bosavidom and you're not thinking about Kvoid Shemayim? Now is the time that you should think about me and not about other things. And this is a zilzul in Kvoid Shemayim. This is what the Eberster is mourning. He's mourning on his COVID. We're mezalzul in his COVID. Rechmon al-Islam. Coming late to davening is a tremendous zilzul in Kovit Shemayim. When you come in Borchu time, or if you come in after Borchu Rechmon al that is a tremendous zilzul in Kovit Ashkina. 
And then if you leave before the end of davening, there's people, Rahman al-Islam, have a habit to come in early, to come in late to davening, and leave early before the end of the davening. That's a zilzul in Kroyd Ashrina. That's a zilzul in Kovid Beisaknes, is Kroyd Ashla Kodesh Borchu. And then you find that people could come in into shul and they don't even come in with any pressure, with any rush. No, they could stop to shmooze with somebody. They could take out their, tel- their cell phones and go out and make a text and make a cell- talk on the cell phone. Then they leave Rahman al-Islam, the cell phone on in davening and it rings in davening. What type of a zilzul in COVID Ashkin is that when you carry a cell phone in the Beis Medrash, in the Beis HaKnesses, when you're davening with the Abrish there? We say over a Maisel, Havdolel of Havdolis, with President Bush. President Bush had a press conference once, and they were interviewing the president, asking him questions. And all of a sudden, one of the people there, a cell phone started ringing. The president got startled, and he asked, who has that cell phone? And the president said, what kind of nerve and audacity do you have to come to me, stand here when you're talking with the president, and you have your cell phone ringing at a moment that you're standing in my presence? The melech, the king, the president understood what type of a zilzul. Allah has kama vikama vikama. Elif alfi avdol is the melech malchi amlochim. What does the Abish to feel when you come in with a cell phone, when you're standing davening, and when the whole yisoid of davening is to bring forth kvoit shamayim? To bring out the tremendous COVID of the Abraham I'm in Evid Hashem. Nothing else in my life. Only to serve you, Reboi Nishalaylam. And then you walk in with a cell phone. Shoyimu Shalayim. Who knows how many Chorbanes, how many Tzoros were lighting to leave these cell phones. Young Elayt, tired Young Elayt can come into Botim Adrashim, Balabatim, whoever it is. And they can have a cell phone with them in a Seder. And then they stop in the middle of learning, in the middle of the Avoid Hashem, in the middle of showing Kvoit Shemayim, where's your Hashivas for Torah? Where's your Hashivas of talking with the Abish to call a Yosef Vishoyna Shkina Shoyna Kinegdoi? Such a bzilzul in Kvoit Shemayim. These things are Marchik, the Abish and they bring forth. Rahman al Itzlan Tsoris. And lately there's another Zach that's happening about the Knesias and it has to be mentioned. They're making the Baisaknesis Rahman al Itzlan like a shuk. Advertisements, business advertisements. Anybody who has a business thinks it's proper for him to put down his advertisements if it's on a, if it's on a tissue box or if it's on papers, he advertises, I can do this or I can do this. Even the Divrei Torah is so much Yotzeschore Be'afseidoi. You bring in Divrei Torah of all sorts into the Boti Midrashim and the Boti Knesias, and it takes people away from davening, and it makes them shmuas. It could be a learning, or it makes them shmuas, and that's not the time. There's a Zman for everything. Now is the Zman, Zman Torah Lechod, or Zman Tvila Lechod, now is the time you're davening. You have to be focused on your davening. Not to have the Victoria come in, Kila. You can't sit through a davening. And you have to look at these things. Of a very advertisements of all sorts are infiltrating into the shuls. And nobody is stopping it. Rachman al-Itzlan. Azaz zilzul in Kvoid Hashkina. I want to speak a little what the Rashiva talked about. The tremendous mats of Neira, the Sakona that we have, we find ourselves in Eretz Yisrael. This is not just a Sakona, a Ruchni Yazdika Sakona. That Sakona is so great in itself. That's, it's the Sakona of Kiyum O'ilam. Teire is the Kiyum O'ilam. Teire is the Iker Hamash Reshkina B'Yisrael. 
It's the Limud HaToyre that we learn that brings forth the Shechina and the Hagone and the Shmira. And if Rachman Litzlan, we have the Soine Hadas, the from Zerah Amolik, the Goyen says, that they're going to come and eat for the Mashiach and Stelzach and Keg and the Torah. And we see everything that the Goyen said and Rabbi Chana said is being nigla the Ineinu. The Ebershter promised us he don't understand the Aleph base of Chumash. The Ebershter said, in If you will be a male in the then there'll be the Nasati Sholem Boretz. Then we'll have Sholem. This happened in the times of Ben-Gurion. Ben-Gurion in the Kumen Tzadazayin and the Lutzkerov. And they at that time wanted to maybe draft Yeshiva Light into the army. And he came to him and said, we need them to help us overcome the enemy. And the Zayda told him, you're going to Negeda off in the Bosak and Chumash. That the earth, the grass, the shmirah for Kalal Yisrael is Limud HaToyre. This is going to bring Sholem. It happened once that the general of the army came to the Zayda. Also, Tainig, we need the Yeshiva light. And the Zayda told him the Gemara in Megillah. The Gemara in Megillah says that the Sar Tzavah Hashem came to Mon Kalal Yisro when they were camping on Yerichoi. They should sit and learn more Torah. And the Zayda asked, why the Sar Tzavah Hashem? Why not a big Rosh Hashiva, a big Talmud Chochem? That's the one that's appropriate to come on for Bittal Torah. Who came? He came dressed up like a soldier, like a general. On the Zayda told him because the, 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 the general in Claudius all understands what is the battlefront? Where is the battlefront taking place? It's in the Botic Nasius and the Botic Midrashis. And the general came to mourn, learn more Torah. The Gemara tells us in Megillah, Oin Mamakis, Oin this Hoyuragleno Bisharayat Yerushalayim. What is Oin this Hoyuragleno Bimochome? What's the Koyach of Klaus? What's the Cherev and the Chanis of Klaus? That's the Limon Atoire. What the Goyim, what the Goyim understand, that Koyach is Toire. Kum do the regirum today, Rachmon al and doesn't know the elementary idea. Instead of coming to the yeshiva light and say, his chaskes ha toire, shtarksich in toire, this is what we need. The, 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 the all comes mikoyach ha toire. We all know the Gemara says, lechor ve Yerushalayim, only because of bitul ha toire. Ame of the oretz alos rosi, Toire is marchik the shechina, so then we have no more shmira. There's a niflik emotion from the dubner. The dubner asks, we have kama chazal in. In some place, chazal tells the the korban came from this avera. Another place from this avera, and there's so many averas that's mentioned. And then we also have the gemara that tells us it had to do with bittul toire. Alozo mesterasi bishul shebit lebati noike shul beis rabon. And the dumner explained it with a beautiful marshal, and he said as follows: There was somebody once was very mekur of lemalchus a very good friend of the king. And this person was a talented person. He knew how to sing. He knew how to play musical instruments. And whenever the melech got a little down and he felt zebrochen, the melech used to call him over and tell him to please sing for me, pick up my spirits, play an instrument, and I'll be besimcha. They once caught him with a tremendous avle. He did a terrible chet, and they mishpid him lemisa, and they came to the king, and they told him, we have to kill your good friend. And the king said, I'm sorry, I can't let you kill him, because I need him. He picks up my spirits with his beautiful songs, with his beautiful instruments, so they didn't, they didn't kill him. It went by another year or two, and again he did another avla, and again they mishpid him lemisa, and again the king intervened and says, we can't kill him, I need him, I need his beautiful singing, I need, he picks up my spirits, it makes me besimcha. 
And the third time this happened, another chet, and again. The fourth time that it happened, and they came back to the king, the king said, you know something? He lost his voice. He doesn't sing as nice as he used to sing. I don't need him so much. I don't have the gishmak and zmiris that he sang. And he played the instruments. He got old already. Now you could punish him for all those chatoyim that he did. Because now I have no reason to save him. But the Dubnik is up when Yidin could sin grace and chatoyim. Ain chat, it's a siba for churbin. Or because man will learn Torah with a gishmak with a zing, the zimra of Torah is the shashuy of Shalak Kodesh Borchu. This is the grass the music by the reborn of Shalom. This is Megin and Klau Yisrael for Nala Peronius. We can do more chatoyim, and every time we did more chatoyim, so the Dubner, every time it was the same story, calls man, the call atoyer was strong. The Abraham said, it's so sweet, the toyer of Kalal Yisrael, I can't punish them. Or but then Zok the Dubner, when it came as man, when Rachman al Litzlan, they were Mivatal Torah, they weren't learning Torah the way they should be learning Torah. The Ebersha said, I don't hear that beautiful Zmiris. I don't have the Simcha from Klau Yisrael. Hi, Drachman of Itzlan. You can have all these Chatoim Sibis to give a Moinshin. Torah is the Shmira of Klau Yisrael. Torah is the Tachli Sabriya. This is what is Mechaya the Ebersha. Zome Cholila Nitschepenen, the Eberster should be made for Atzosom, Mikalkum Achshavtom, they should have Mises Mishunas, the Alam mentioned that made these Xeris Royas, so the Eberster is a Machriv Lamashinim Alti Sik for the Cholerisha Kula Kerega Yuveidu, the Eberster should give them a Misa Mishuna. And chas misholim misoni tvirin on the toyre and the shmira of klal Yisrael. I want to be Messiah with the Yalkut in Shmuel. The Yalkut says, "Toner Reb Shimon ben Yechoyi, b'shloish advori moasu Yisrael, klal Yisrael despised in three things: moasu b'malchus shemayim." Twice in the history, it's brought down in the Yalkut, Kalal Yisro was Memayas in the Malchus Shemayim. Kalal Yisro was Memayas in Malchus Beis David. They weren't Machshiv Malchus Beis David properly. And then the Yalkut says, Ubebinyan Beis Hamikdash. Kalal Yisro were Memayas the Beis Hamikdash. They weren't Machshiv the Kedushas Beis Hamikdash Karohu. So the Eberster said, "Ain Yisrael royin sim in gula leoylam. We won't be zoyche to go out of the sfinster agolis. Ad she yachsu v'yivakshu shloshtam. Only when we start appreciating and showing the chashivas, and we ask that we want these back, like the chashivas said, we'll be mevakish all three of them, like Hosea Novi says." Acher Yashuvu Bnei Yisrael, if Bnei Yisrael will return once again, Ubikshu Es Hashem Alikeichem, Bikshu Es Hashem Alikeichem, Zu Malchus Shemayim, David Malkom, Zu Malchus Beis David, Upochdu El Hashem Vituvoi, Ze Beis Hamikdosh. There's a choiv on us to get a tremendous chashivas to amigdus today. Our chashivas of the Beis Amigdus that we have is the Migdash Mat, the Beis Aknesses, and the Beis Hamedris, Rashi Moisias, Migdashayim. Even after the Churban, these are our Beis Amigdus. We have to show a chashivas to our body Migdash. And then to come to the Reborn Shalom and tell him, we want the real true base Hamikdash. We want the Shekhinah to come back. When well, we will show our tremendous Hashivas for Kvoit Shemayim, for Kvoit Hashkina, for Kvoit Hamikdash, then if we will come to the Reborn Shalom, we'll dive in with an Aaron Skite, L'Shalayim Ircha Berachim Toshuv,
The Eibushter will hear our tefillahs because we'll show the Eibushter we're machshiv kvoid shomayim, kvoid ashkin, kvoid amigdash. B'schuz zed that we will be nisayrer to take upon ourselves everyone to be mesakin where he could, his areas where he's mezalzel in the covid of the base haknesses and the base hamedrash. If you talk in davening, take upon yourself mayoyim v'hole. Not only I'm going to stay up to daven, to talk in davening, or to talk in Kriya Satoire, or to talk in a Seder, but I'm going to see to be more the Oilom, that the Oilom should get a proper Shivas for the Kedush of the Beis HaKnesses, to see not to bring cell phones into the Beis HaKnesses, not to make it a way that shows you tremendous zilzal in the Kvoid Ashkina. To not to come in to davening late and to leave early, not to do other things besides to greet friends, to talk friends, but to be totally focused on your davening. If we will be mechazek, atznius, we will see not to get mushma from the goyim around us. Lo yiro bechoyer v'stovor b'schus that we will come to be metayer atzmeno and then we will come to reborn Shem and say we want malchus shemayim we want the base hamigdash we will be zoyche bekorev to sechazen einenu b'shuvcha litziyam berachmim and we will be zoyche to the binyan abayis bekorev.